Hello world, it's me Dr. Reigns and today we're gonna be taking a look at the monthly prize fight for Skullgirls Mobile. This is a class of one's own and here are some pro tips that you definitely need to know or something generic like that. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So as usual, let's begin talking about the fight modifiers and we'll obviously start with the player side. We only have one modifier for the player, which is called Team Spirit. So whenever you face an opponent of the same character type, this means Annie vs Annie, Big Man vs Big Man, Beowulf vs Beowulf, etc. You will gain two random buffs for 10 seconds every 10 seconds. And this works pretty much just like Gene Freeze, which means that even if you end up defeating your opponent, you can still get one more wave of buffs after that. As with most round of buff gain, you cannot gain neither evasion nor precision. Knowing that, we can safely say that this modifier is pretty much useless. Maybe useless isn't the right word, but as we all know, there are a lot of buffs in the game. And sadly, most of them are defensive. Even if you end up locking out and get like enraged plus dead eye or something, this has zero consistency. So rather than building a strategy around this modifier, just try to think about it like an extra or something. Don't rely on it, because you will be disappointed. We jumped to the enemy side and now we got mid turns. So once per match, the second to last surviving teammate, which for most if not all intents and purposes will be the second fighter that comes in after you defeat the point fighter, will tag in with 5 stacks of enrage and 5 stacks of armor, which can be universally removed after suffering a third combo hit. That means 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. Or 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. And when the enemy is benefiting from the enrage and armor gained this way, they will also gain 5% blockbuster per second. Now since neither of these buffs will be permanent, you can easily get rid of them by inflicting your opponent with Cripple for Enrage and Armor Break for, well, Armor. Or you know, you can simply use some buff removal and be done with it. Needless to say, blocking hits is not such a good idea because, well, 5 stacks of armor definitely hit hard, especially on the higher streaks. You'll also need to watch out for high combo count punishers such as Dead Wish, for, to name someone, and obviously defenders that have armor synergy, just like uh, Resonant Evil. Finally, please note that these buffs are applied once the opponent tags in. Think about it like Ice Hot applying Regen or Reroon applying Enrage. Last but not least, we got Final Exam. So once per match, the last surviving teammate will tag in with Invincible for 20 seconds. And while the opponent is benefiting from this Invincible, they will drain 2% of your health every second. Now, this Invincible can only be removed by one of two things. Number one, you either counter hit your opponent, or number two, I'm sorry, or number two, you simply use some buffer removal like Chaos Vanish or Giant Step. Also, unlike most other drain effects, this effect can and will kill you if given the chance. To finish this segment, we also gotta take into account that, unlike the previous modifier, this one applies the buff while your fighter is tagging in. Non not when your fighter already has tagged in, but when your fighter is set to tag in next. I guess the easiest comparison that I can make is a Surgeon General granting her teammates with uh, regen and, and what's the other thing? Immunity. You know, they uh, those buffs get applied while they are in the bench. You know, when they are tagging in per se. Let's just say, let's just say like that for this example. This means that OP characters like Ogre Achiever or Standout cannot use their signature ability to get rid of that Invincible or this Invincible. So yeah, that is gonna be pretty much everything for today. And usually since the video is so short, this is the part where I will make like a, like a mini skit or something. Uh, but we currently have more important matters to attend to because we finally have in-game footage for guest stars and yet sadly everything points to them acting pretty much like Black Dahlia's uh, Girls Night Out Super so yeah you probably click on a button or something and they they come uh, well the, the guest star comes in and, and does something or for a limited period of time or something. So yeah, it's probably going to be pretty annoying to deal with them on defense. With that out of the way, let's just take a look at the remaining gameplay footage that I have. 
because I want to show you uh, what I mean when I say it's stand a broken variant like, like standout and ogre achiever. So yeah, uh, I defeat Umbrella's, uh, what's, what's her name? Umbrella Candy Crusher and then Parcel comes in but when she's coming in she gains uh, the enrage and the, and, the, and the armor. But since Lysa is broken, she absorbs the buffs before they even have a chance to 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 take effect per se. On the other hand, when Beast King comes in, he gains Invincible, but he she's been free from Invincible even before he tags in. That's why, since he's technically not the point fighter, that's the main that's the reason why Eliza, well, why a standout cannot uh, absorb, unlike what she did with Candy Crusher. Now we got. Harley Quinn doing what she does best, just uh, merry go real loops, and we take care of Beast King just like uh, we will take care of any other bad wolf. But next, we also have Standout versus Heavy Handed, and as you can see, I take advantage of the fact that I'm using uh, Standout plus Harley Quinn to pretty much spam uh, Weight of Nubis and uh, what's his name, Osiris Spiral to uh, well inflict my opponent with heavy bleed and that way uh, it doesn't really matter how much HP they have because well heavy bleed deals percentage percentage based damage. Now if you're paying any attention I once again showcase the fact that uh, enrage and armor are gained on tag in unlike uh, once again invincible which is gained before once the the, the character or the, the character that you're fighting dies is when the enemy gets invincible rather than them getting it, getting gaining it uh, on tag in as the game claims. So yeah, that's why characters like Standout or once again Ogre Achiever, which I believe are the only two characters who, <laughs> who have a signature really like that. Uh, that's yeah, that's why they cannot uh, negate those negate the invincible they can only negate the what is it called armor and rage so yeah now that is gonna be pretty much everything for today this time for real i want to show you guys uh before i go the fact that yes the draining the drain health from invincible can actually kill you it's actually uh pretty hard to notice but you can see it right here yeah so yeah obviously be wary of that But yeah, that is gonna be pretty much everything for today, as I already said. Uh, thank you all so much for watching if you did, and remember, life is full of interest, so don't feel over and I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao, take care, everyone, and... Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>